Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at Fable Dom, an interesting city builder with kind of elements of city skylines. Ah, but in a medieval it's setting. a story you want. Let's get into it. So this is randomly generated each time you play. Um, and you can change what you are and what there is. So right now we just got to chuck us on this area and let's go. So chapter one, the new beginning. So here's our little characters. Where were we? Oh yes. Again. Our kingdom began with little more than a humble laborer's hut. Now, so where let's did find a nice again? area hmm. for it. I'm going to put let's it there. See here. Yeah. And then we get to get some roads. And I want to come out a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Uh, we can assign two laborers here. And then we can build some houses. And the cool part of the houses is you can kind of click and drag this. So, make it a bit bigger. You can also just make a little one. It's got a decent size garden. Oh, I'll show you something. So build three of those. We can choose what goes in there. Um, desirability, homegrown. I'm not sure what these do. But we just gotta randomize them. And yeah, so we'll claim our money. And so we're going to build two homesteads. And then we're going to assign people into them. We just speed it up a little bit. Get them going. As you can see, they... Uh, it's a cool little aesthetic. I Ooh, like the kind of cartoon. The first homestead. Yippee! This so, uh, is where so your fablings live and eat. A head of household is required for the homestead to operate smoothly. Got a chicken coop now, and we're make making sure one has been assigned, won't you? And so here's like the city skyline um, thing that I'm kind of talking about. So we've got to build the well, and that gives us water to everything. So, so let's do that. Also, it'll be good to have just these multiple things. We've got a lot of beehives and some chicken coops, which uh, it's all right. What is that? A little, little pig. Little pig. Right now, these need water, and we're going to build that well for them. So in this game, you get new characters when the timer hits a certain amount of days. Ah, finally! Here come our first I think it's newcomers. Every eight days as or long something? as you keep your population happy, more will want to join. We we'll as long these. as there is and room. And so you have like welcome, houses. Some welcome. dude manages the household, Daniel. And the other guys, there's no residents here. But if we ever want some more, they can go into that house. Which has got to be really good. That allows us to make a farm. to make sure it's within the realm of it and then we get to choose what we're going to grow it does not grow in winter so vegetables don't grow in winter six i think there's really no difference to what to create but might as well grow a few different things everyone needs carrots Forty, okay. Build that. It's really gonna cost us a lot, but it'll be good to, you know, feed. We'll put it right near here so we could build it quite quickly, and then once it's built, built quite quickly, we can actually assign people to it. Assign our two new workers, Fablings, as they say, and they they will go out and do some stuff. 
Lumber camp. Well, we want it to have the most amount of area with trees. I'm going to put it here. No attachments for it at the moment, but we can assign a woodcutter to that. These are extremely big pumpkins. Look at the size of a man. Get some new people in four days. Okay. So do we have any? We don't have any. So I'm going to actually take one from this. i take you. I'll put you here. You gotta, you gotta cut me some wood. To the mines you go. And yeah, that's kind of like how we're going. We can see our stuff. Now we've got some uh, decorations. I guess these are just for show. They're probably gotta get in the way, but sure. be placed on road rotate that shall so build one of those there there you go for the sake of the tutorial we'll just put that we are kind of we are positive on money so that's good And we get twenty dollars. Um, population milestone. Obviously, we've got to hit a certain milestone, which I'm guessing is nine out of uh, ten. Collect two hundred dollars in taxes. So we'll just get that over the course. Is there anything else we can build while we wait for this to happen? Labor's hut. We don't need stockpile. Stockpile industrial resources. A bit attached. Dynamic some storage have dynamic storage. Is, okay, so you can kind of tell what to what stuff to go here. Cool. Uh, and that's kind of kind of it. So we can speed us up a little bit. Next milestone is 10. Uh, which is six days, but we don't have enough. So got to build a little house here. Um, I was going to make it a small house, but let's make it a big house. Get the uh, double laborer on there. Should have enough wood. Well, it looks like some newcomers will arrive soon, but there's no available housing. Uh, to see how many days are left until the we next got five arrival, days. We're good. Hover over the population icon at the top of your screen. Four days. Okay, it doesn't seem like they move too much faster. We build that house. We need it. Three days. So we do have enough to get them in. A nice big backyard for these guys. We got chickens as well. Probably better to have them than them. Let's not grow during winter. That's okay. Do we have a guy? Is he chopping wood? Yeah, he's chopping wood. Two days. Let's just wait. A lot of water gumming up these roads. Okay, we'll take both of them. Yay, we've reached a hamlet. 
Current parents of zero points in the family fund. Okay, that's fine. Resources, you receive 50. We get an inn. Uh, the stone camp, coal maker, and the granary on something else too. But I did not get to see that. Because I click forward. I'm looking to build a forester. Okay, cool. Plants new trees. And then let's build a stone camp. Some buildings need to be on stuff, yes. Little quarry there. And we'll also do that so they're connected. Uh, and after that, we probably want to put a stockpile. There, that's gonna help us. And then a coal maker. Neg negative uh, desirability. So this is like the city skylines. Can't really put bad stuff next to uh, your houses. So if we wanted to build this, we kind of have to put it way out over here. Which is probably fine. Then we can build another road. I don't know. Do oh, we're out of money. Shit. That's okay. Next thing I want to do is I actually want to chuck one of these down over here. Just get as much as we can. So how much do these cost? Two each. It's okay. Stockpile's finished. Kind of running low on that, but probably okay. Oh, wait, you guys don't have jobs, do you? And now you do. So we just kind of wait for this. We can speed this up. Even though they're not going too quick labor camp might be another thing that we can build if we wanted to we got some incoming payment rid of this nature we don't want that happiness 50 percent i will welcome those two more people yes you guys can start working on the uh the stone camp so right now we got two unemployed join some free time this little dude he's working on the turnips he's okay he's not loving life this person is they're loving life so we'll build this stone camp and then we'll get these new guys but guess what you're gonna be mining for us you're welcome overview menu is a great tool for managing people cool they got farmers head of households uh, and obviously, because uh, their home desirability, I think, is bad. They're, they're not too keen. Select the farm lane using the overwork. Assign the farm lane to the workplace using the... Okay. They're going to be like, okay, do we need two farmers? 
we can be like, no, we 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 don't want to farm it. Okay, workers management farm stockpile. Oh, these require a person, huh? That's interesting. We'll take one of these off. We'll put one of these on. Get some money. And so I guess they go in to start helping out. If there's storage of 50, now they're going to start stockpiling it. They're actually kind of putting it there and back. And now we can go and buy some territories. So as you can see, uh, territories tell us what's in them. So tree, ruins, and the machine shoe. Hmm, what could that be? Uh, pig herd, small st stone deposits, and bob bark skin. Don't know who that is, but sounds interesting. Uh, we, we just can't afford... You guys gotta like... We'll, we'll counter that at the moment. Put another homestead. Uh, we want desirability. Sure. Is this a dog? Yeah. Can I... It would be nice if I can prioritize that. To warm up houses and fuel production. This is we'll be leaving in three days. Yeah, well, it's not like I've got much choice. You can. Hey, guess what? You're burning coal now. All day, that's your life. Hmm, this can't be right. It seems you got a letter from a secret admirer. Odd. Interesting. Well, I suppose there's no accounting for taste. Today, just joshing. <laughs> you can open it by clicking the letter icon at the top center of your screen. You will let me know if there's anything good. I don't. I don't get out much anymore. Okay. We got a secret admirer letter. Okay, so what's this? Uh, we live in most exciting times. These new lands will reward with uh, reward industrious. Uh, tend to build. Those our little worker bees tell me that you are similarly inclined. Perhaps we are meant to work together. Oh, the tinkerer, huh? So what's that? Uh, are you just gonna do something? You just come and. Build? Who knows? Lockpile. Doesn't have a worker. We assign one worker. We have no more people. Uh, roughly 100 days of food. Nice. Very nice. Uh, purchase a new territory. That's what we're going to do next. I think we buy this one because it's got the missing shoe. Which is kind of interesting. And then, there we go. Just like that. We've got more stuff. We're across the realm of different encounters. The encounters are going to be interacted by you with using your hero. Interesting. I don't have a hero yet. wonder what that's about. Uh, build an inn and assign an innkeeper. So I might have... Uh, is it possible to demolish... Just this. There we go. Yeah, let's build a nice in positive. Oh, so an in. Oh, it's very large. You know what? Getting rid of these. 
Oh, it's sad for you, I know, but just think this in here. It's got to be the best thing ever. Everyone's got to come for a drink. And look, prime real estate now. Got an inn next to you. Sell that shit for... Yes, okay, so hang on. We got one peasant. Is there any way we can upgrade this? Currently in realm. Okay, no. Not at the moment. We might get a bigger one. We'll just get one dude in, yeah. Sorry. We can't have everyone. Okay, so we're completely out of wood now, but we got a stockpile going. Some wood around here. And to start making some... This guy's mining. Payments made, thank you for the money. But our taxes, the money, th the finger thing means the taxes. Ah, Damn. the trusty village inn. A personal favorite. <laughs> the inn adds happiness to its surroundings. And the happier your kingdom is, the more efficient your Men workers get. Add happiness. It also helps attract more as visitors. As long as it's open. Yeah. yeah. We're out of money. And we're out of... kind of stuff. So it's going to take a while though before we can kind of generate what we need. But I'll come back when we do that. Okay, so we've reached Milestone, the small village. So we'll have to pay families five bucks to the family fund. Uh, but we can get nobility now. Uh, it can be used as currency for special actions. We got some resources. Messages Guild. So we can send stuff to other people. We've discovered pen and paper. Sawmill. Probably to make certain stuff. Uh, and we got some crops. Right now, as you can see, I kind of trying to create some stuff before winter. Uh, winter is coming soon. It's fall 22. I'm assuming it, it goes to 30. Uh, we would like to try out each vegetable to see which one the populace prefers. Um, place eight of everything. We don't have. Oh, I can't be taking that so close to winter. I really want this, like, done. There we go. We can prioritize this. Get that built because it's getting close to winter. And if this doesn't get full of stuff, uh, we might starve. <laughs> I, I think it's going to start taking stuff from here and putting it in here. Yep. Very nice. We, we can kind of cross the bridge now. We don't have a hero yet, and I don't know what ruins are for. Oh, we need a hero. Okay, so we got some stockpile. Um, I'm going to... There's no worker here, so that's fine. Build the messenger guild. Slowly but surely. Getting some money. So now we've got heaps of money. So let's build some more houses. Let's kind of extend this down. 
some lakeside houses, I think. Take you. We gotta be careful because the more trees we kind of destroy, the worse it is. For us. Okay, so I want to have Messenger Guild Stockpile. See you. We hit winter. And here comes the transformation of winter. So I don't know if we can assign a worker into this. That might be where all our, our <laughs> coal was going. Everything is now white. But I wonder if it's possible. Oh, okay. Kind of building outwards, which I, I don't mind. Messages guild. We don't have any any ability to do that. So, sawmill. We don't have enough money. Okay. And we won't have enough for a while. I do like the look of this. The kind of the aesthetic of this game. Is everyone working? You hunger, I don't know why. Bit of household. We have two unemployed. Okay. Did we get this granary built up? Yes. Cool. Um, what are we looking for? Two lumber camp, two of them. Uh, stone boy is. We'll put one of you on stone. And then. I guess the other one can. Go cut down stuff over here. Actually. No, that's fine. Apple tree is looking kind of worse for wear in the winter, but that's okay. As we speed everything up here, we need to get to a hundred. Welcome them. Uh, somebody can go farming. I guess we only welcomed one person. Oh, because the head of household. Ah, they're missing coal. Right. Why is that? Doesn't reach that far? Or there's only enough coal? <laughs> Looks cold out there. Oh, look. My wand has shrunk. Okay. I didn't need to know that. I'm going to pull you off of here and then put you on here. That didn't work you offer here and put you on here maybe we can get some more coal. world event secret santa needs your attention accept gift okay material coffer and put that there thank you he gave me 40 coal Yeah, I'll, I'll take both of those. I don't know. This isn't... Oh, it doesn't... Ha it hasn't been given the coal. Right. I don't know who does that. Magic bean. Been 50 gold to buy the magical bean from the merchant. 
we will start placement of giant beanstalk. Hell yeah. Who doesn't want a giant beanstalk? Jickle bean or feed your people. I think you made the right choice. Magic bean, you're right. Uh, this encounter can interact with your hero once it fully grows in 200 days. So that's where the game kind of the fable part of the game. Now uh, we haven't got to the point of a hero yet. I will try and fast track and jump to when we do. Okay, so uh, it didn't take too long. I required a sawmill to get, but here's our hero. Uh, he's a cool little dude. You can move him around kind of like, um, uh, sorry. We can move him around kind of like uh, Warcraft 3 or something like that. We can open the armory and give him stuff. A health regeneration. Give him uh, essence of balance. Sure. Or we could give him a some damage but let's go for health and health regeneration make him a tanky boy and i kind of want him to check out what's over here so off you trot mr hero man as you can see we have kind of grown out uh, a lot more than i kind of anticipated Uh, we've been doing kind of expanding uh, what we want on here going for the desirability get that up so we can it would be nice if we can put more in there but that's okay this guy is taking his sweet time run guy run we can right click to inspect that. You found a single lost shoe. It seems uh, quite valuable, but also small. Finding your owner might be difficult, but the Fabling uh, would surely appreciate it. So we can return it to its owner or we can sell it. We can postpone. Okay, so let's return to the owner. Let's get our hey, money. Is that my old house? I left my retainer in there. Let's go check this ruin, see what's in there. While searching through the ruins, your hero discovered a relic from the past. Underwear, perhaps worn by a great wizard? He'll be worn by a great wizard again. How about a floral teapot? Surely that was pretty some ancient potions. Uh, on second hand, perhaps they're just regular items. These schematics look useful, so now we have a flower rest area. So that will boost us. So this guy, I don't know if he's kind of or anything. Just kind of moves him around which we don't really care about too much let's prioritize that some people to work on here and yeah so I hopefully that has given you kind of an idea of what this game is this game is called fable dom it is a is an empire s city builder with a little sprinkling of city skylines the city management as well as like troops there's military there's you know quirky stuff it's got a cool art style yeah i hopefully you guys enjoy that uh i found this game quite interesting thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time hope you guys have a good one goodbye